It's up now. I don't even have to look. It's just, <laughs> I know where it's gonna go. That's <laughs> it. For someone that's never been to like a New York style slice place, there's very much a ritual for it. When you walk through the door, the first thing that you usually see is a big case full of pizzas, a couple different pies. You'll see a pizza man in the back making pizzas, maybe flipping them in the air. Luigi's on Fifth Ave is a quintessential slice. When you walk into it, it's basically a place that's stuck in time. Gio, the owner, has a lot of pride for his family, for his culture. He knows everyone's name. He knows everyone's order. His sisters work with him. When you're a regular at a family place, it feels like you're part of the family. In 1973, Luigi Lanza opened Luigi's with his wife, Theodora. Today, Luigi's children, Gio, Lisa, and Marisa, work hard to honor their parents' legacy by keeping their traditions at the pizzeria alive. And now I see the photo album, and I'm like, perfect. This yeah, you've seen this best. one. I always put this in, because you know what? Without these two people, it wouldn't be here. It wouldn't when, be here. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have anything to talk about. It just my whole life because two people came here just saying we can make it in America. Otherwise, I would have been I would have been skinny probably. <laughs> my mother came here first. She started working in a sweatshop. She was yeah. making forty three cents an hour. Wow. With nineteen dollars a week, it just shows you how, as much as everybody thinks those were the bad times, they were actually the great times. Because in four years, my mother bought a house. My father was working in Italy. He had a mule, so he was somebody. <laughs> That was like the Cadillac of today. Yeah, he had a mule. Yeah, he had the Did it yeah. <laughs> I know that this has always been like this. Were you ever tempted to go in the direction that other pizzerias went in? Like, you know, no. the weird pies no. or this and no. that? No. I'm not going to steer away from what I was brought up with. That was it. No. This board is the first board we started with. At the number of pies, this board had over a million pies easily. This, I used to do this for my first start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Until now. I don't even have to look. It's just, <laughs> I know where it's going to go. That's <laughs> it. How old were you when you made your first pizza? I was 11 when I started making pies. My first pie for a customer, I'll never forget. I looked back into the kitchen. I said to my father, Papa, not beets. I was 13. He said, you make it. It was only a regular pie, so it's a 16 inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he made me make my first one. Wow. I'll go ahead and I'll make my pizza, and then you, maybe you can give me some tips. Basically, I'm just trying not to touch the cross. Is that your No, you can touch the you cross. Do it? It's stay, all right? out, stay out of the middle. That's it. All right, beautiful. So walk right over, top deck. Top deck, yeah. I don't think this is going to be as round as Gio's. Mine are never round. But it try. All right, Frank, you know what we're going to do now? You're going to eat one of my slices. I'm going to have one of your slices that you oh, made, OK? No, 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 no. It makes me okay. nervous. It makes me nervous. <laughs> I think I know which one's mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, that's for you, Frank. All right. Well, we're gonna go with Frank's pie. Uh oh. No, this is gonna be good. I already know when it's. Listen, I can walk into the pizzeria and look and you see what you did. And you can tell. A hundred percent. Perfect. The pizza is so good. It's so easy to chew. It's just like I don't know that I've. Uh, interviewed anyone that's probably made as many pizzas as you. I have no idea how Those many pies. that has made probably a million pies on their own. Oh, easily. Easily. And it's just, I just love what I do. It's, do you know, it doesn't even feel like I made one. When you do something that you like so much, it's not a job. People don't understand that it's not work for me. I come here to hang out. I mean, you're never bored here. Take a dream come true. That's it. This, you make it. It's your show. That's it. This is my show. It's done, it's made, and people are happy. Priceless. Totally priceless. Pucho, busy? A little bit. You know I'm always busy. You, you, you do good work, you're busy. That's it. That's it. 